What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out an article talking about Roman Reigns not appearing at WWE Money in the Bank this year, man. This is by TJR Wrestling. All right, let's get into this because this does not sound good. Granted, we already knew that he was gonna be taking some time away from uh from WWE, but once again, it this still doesn't bode well for for the you know raw and smackdown brands it just it doesn't so multiple reports have claimed that roman reigns is no longer scheduled to appear at money in the bank since defeating brock lesnar to become the undisputed wwe universal champion at wrestlemania 28 roman reigns has only wrestled once on wwe tv that match saw him team with the usos to defeat drew mcintyre and rk bro at wrestlemania backlash while he has made occasional appearances on tv since the he the hell in the cell premium live event did not feature the top champion in wwe justin barrasio of sports illustrated and the wrestling observer dave Meltzer have both now reported that reigns will also miss money in the bank despite originally being scheduled to appear it was noted that plans changed when wwe made the decision to move the event from allegiant stadium to a much smaller mgm grand Gar uh grand garden arena it had previously been reported that reigns would appear and wrestle at all three wwe planned stadium shows this summer plans were seemingly in a place for the head of the table to face riddle at money in the bank randy orton at SummerSlam, and drew mcintyre at clash of uh, clash at the castle roman reigns has recently signed a new deal with wwe that allows him to considerably cut down his schedule with the company now positioning him as the new brock lesnar despite reigns missing money in the bank his next opponent still looks to be riddled during the la uh, latest episode of raw uh the former tag team champion featured on the miz and said he wanted to take on the tribal chief Roman Reigns has only competed four times on WWE TV in 2022 uh, and hasn't had any matches at all since May 22nd where he defeated Drew McIntyre at a live event in uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Yeah, this is uh, not boding well. Um, we all heard the reports earlier in the year that he was going to be taking fewer dates and he may be missing taking some time off, which, you know, we kind of all understood that but you know we all a lot of us had the impression that he would be at at least money in the bank SummerSlam, SummerSlam, and uh clash at the castle so those are three pay-per-views relatively close around each other that potentially he would be there for um but now plans have changed i don't know if it has something to do with now money in the bank being moved to a smaller uh arena size that could be an, a, a situation but it doesn't bode well for both raw and smackdown because we're pretty much dealing with the whole brock lesnar situation they even mentioned it in the article if you guys remember brock lesnar uh at one point had the universal championship held for hostage and the wwe championship held for hostage like we barely saw him literally we barely saw him it was maybe a few pay-per-views out of the year we barely saw him we didn't really have raw didn't have a top champion to be honest with you now raw and smackdown don't technically have top champions unless roman shows up i want you to understand how crazy this is monday night raw their top champion is bianca belair she has a raw women's championship their next champion austin theory with the uh united states championship that's it they don't even have tag titles technically because the usos have them so they don't have they don't even have a tag tag team championship belts smackdown obviously they have the unified unified tag uh team uh championships they have the smackdown's women champion and they have uh the intercontinental championship but once again still no head world heavyweight champion and that's the problem and i like roman reigns hill turn i think what he's done 
how he's re you know freshened up his character is easily one of the best things we've seen in wrestling his run where he was beating pretty much everybody he obviously had the best matches of every pay-per-view damn near everybody wanted to see his match because they knew it was going to be something entertaining you know and it, it was something that we were enjoying from last year to the year before last but now now that he has his new contract set up it's 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 not the same it's definitely not the same people have been wanting him to drop the titles for a while now i know for a fact people want him to drop the titles and i think we were working our way towards that sooner rather than later because you know with the cody rose situation but cody's hurt their top the the, the one person that could possibly beat roman is out and he probably won't be back until the royal rumble which leaves us with who i would love to see a bobby lashley you know saying go at roman reigns we know the Drew McIntyre match is going to happen at some point. Uh, I would love to see Matt Riddle if they actually do it. <laughs> I would love to see Randy Orton go at it. And those things can happen. But once again, how long will we have to wait? Obviously, he probably will be there for SummerSlam. That's that's most likely definitely happening. And he'll probably uh, be there for Clash at the Castle. But I still don't even think he'll, he's losing the title even then. So I don't I don't know. This is it's one of those things where it's like his title reign, I don't want it to become oh well it's stat padding because he's not really facing anybody. If he's able to take months off but still have the championship, he's not facing nobody. So it's just gonna be oh yeah, I'm I've been champion for seven hundred plus days, but the last sixty of those days, I ain't really defended the title. So I don't know. I don't know. This is this really falls back on WWE because they willingly gave him both titles, which okay, cool, but I don't think they planned this out in hindsight because once again, Raw doesn't have a top champion, the head, you know, the world heavyweight champion. Same as SmackDown. SmackDown can cover it up a little bit. It's one, it's a two-hour show, and two, there's a lot of more things going on, like championship-wise, you can cover up with raw you can't cover that up with a three-hour show they don't have a top champion so i don't know what they do you know uh i'm 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 sure that things will hopefully go according to plan and uh roman will be facing you know will be at SummerSlam and will be at uh clash at the castle but does this at this point kind of you know take take down his this historic title reign does it knock it down a bit and for me personally, it kind of tarnishes it just because we know that, you know, he pretty much he has the titles hostage. He has the titles hostage and it's going to be a while before he really drops them. All these people I mentioned, Matt Riddle, Bobby Lashley, um, and Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton, none of them are beating him. None of them. None of them are beating him. Even that clash at the castle, he, Roman's not losing. Even though that would be a cool story for Drew, Drew, he's not beating him. The only person they have really booked where it made sense is probably most likely Cody. That was the only person that made sense, and now he's out. So I don't know what they do. I don't know how this goes, but we will see. Let me know down below uh, how you guys feel about this. Like, is this one of these things where it's like, you know, you're, you're kind of disappointed because it's like, damn, well, <laughs> what, what, what are we going to do with the titles? Like, how how do you guys feel about this? Do you guys think they need to take the titles off him this year? Or do you guys think we have to, you know, we should wait until Cody comes back? Like, I don't know. Let me know how you guys think this should play out because, honestly, Roman is pretty much running out of people to beat. So I don't know what they do here. It'll be interesting to see how things play out. But appreciate all love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.